Hello everyone, welcome to the video on multiple choice questions on diuretics. Let us see the question first. The first one is, digoxin binding to cardiac sodium potassium pump is increased by all of the following except. Options given are hydrochlorothiazide, torsamide, indapamide, amyloride. Let us understand the concept first. See, digoxin binds with cardiac sodium potassium pump. Sodium potassium pump is present on the surface of the cell membrane. Now, digoxin binds to the sodium potassium pump at the site which binds with potassium. That means on the sodium potassium pump there is a site to which potassium binds and to the same site digoxin binds. So the binding ability of this digoxin to this sodium potassium pump increases when there is low levels of potassium is there. If potassium is not there, digoxin goes and binds there. So the question asks that all of them are increases the binding ability of digoxin except one. Now so the concept is hypokalemia reduced levels of potassium increases the binding ability of digoxin with this sodium potassium pump which diuretics causes hypokalemia loop diuretics and thiazide diuretics look at the examples hydrochlorothiazide a thiazide diuretic torsamide a loop diuretic indapamide thiazide like diuretic all of them increases the binding of digoxin with sodium potassium pump what is the fourth one amyloride amyloride is a sodium channel blocker which acts at collecting time it increases potassium rather than decreasing it. So it causes hyperkalemia. Hyperkalemia reduces the binding ability of digoxin with the sodium potassium pump. So the answer for this question is option 4 that is amyloride. Now let us look at the next question. Now see idiopathic calcium urolithiosis can be treated by the administration of idiopathic calcium urolithiosis treated by options are ethacrinic acid, hydrochlorothiazide, furosemide, triamterine. Let us understand the disease. See, idiopathic calcium urolithiosis. Idiopathic means you don't need the, you don't know the reason. With unknown reasons, you have a problem called as calcium urolithiosis. This is nothing but kidney stones. Now, litho means stone. Lithophyte means a plant which grows on the stone. So, lithiasis means stone formation. Urolithiasis means in the urinary duct, the stone formation is there. Calcium urolithiosis means understand this. Kidney stones because of calcium oxalate, stoite, cysteine, lot of agents are there. Uric acid is also there. But if the stones are only found by calcium, it is known as idiopathic calcium urolithiosis. Now, how can we treat this? If the calcium oxalate or calcium salt levels are more in the urinary tract, it causes stones. There is a diuretic which reabsorbs calcium from the urine. It increases the calcium level in the blood by reabsorbing from the urine. They are thiazides. So, thiazides can be used to treat kidney stones found by calcium. So what is the option? Option B, hydrochlorothiazide. Thiazide is the choice of drug. Now let us move on to the next question. See, candrinone which elicits a diuretic response is a metabolite of. Options are chlorothalidone, amyloride, spironolactone, indapamide. Now understand this, candrinone is a metabolite and again it is showing the diuretic active activity means it is an active metabolite. Now spironolactone is a steroid derivative. It undergoes metabolism and gives a, a, a metabolite known as candrinone. This also elicits diuretic activity. So the answer for this question is spironolactone. Understand this, spironolactone is an aldosterone antagonist. It binds with the aldosterone receptor and blocks the actions of aldosterone. Because of its steroidal nature, it also acts as anti-androsin. Because of this, it may cause a condition called as gynecomastia. The condition aggravates because spironolactone gives an active metabolite which is candrinone. That is the reason why it is replaced with a newer drug called as aplirenone, which do not have anti-androgenic activity. So these are all the drugs based on diuretics. I hope you like this video. All the best.